She's gonna play the clip of someone attempting to kill. <laughs> Where is your empathy? Where is your decency? Where is your decorum? Where is your code? How on God's green earth can you talk about being an advocate for men, which I thought that she was, and within that same breath, in that same body, go to the depths of hell to disrespect this man to this degree? Guys, a lot has happened out in these YouTube streets over the past several weeks. Since I came back from London, since I dropped that video, specific to distancing myself publicly from the Just Pearly Things platform, a lot has happened. I'd argue that YouTube is a mess, a drama-filled mess. When I dropped my video, though, before I dropped it, I knew that it was going to cause a schism. I knew that it was going to cause a division. How was it that I knew that? Well, I understand how media works. I understand how YouTube works. I understand that successful content creators that build a platform from nothing, they do that on a sense of values, morals, principles, and ideas, and logic that their viewers and their audience members lock into. What I understood the quickness that Pearl was able to gain her base is based off of this idea and concept of a modern woman, right? And dispelling all of the propaganda and beliefs that has propelled many of these feminist ideologies forward over the past several decades. When she shifted into a different type of content, that content hit users' eyes and forced them to make a decision dependent upon if you agreed with her or if you did not agree with her, okay? So Pearl hit a certain stage of her content creation journey where component of her audience base has to make a decision. And based off of that decision in which side of the fence that you fell on, is whether or not you chose to stay subscribed or unsubscribed. But what I didn't predict is how much of the space is essentially a powder keg that was waiting to explode. Because although the issue happened at one of the most subscribed to people within the space, the bloodshed didn't really occur until everyone else got their palms and their hands on it. Because that's when the real battle started. And from a distance looking in, it's some of the most egregious drama filled ish that I have ever seen on this platform. Now on one side of the coin, you could say, hey, listen, MTR, but listen, drama is good, baby, who cares, all right? Let everyone burn each other at the stake. And to that I say, yeah, go ahead, sure. As a larger content creator, I have the luxury to be able to point at different situations and pick which topics that I wanna be able to talk about. I think times like this, the strongest will survive. And you'll see content creators fall because they can't handle the pressure or content creators that really demonstrate a sense of talent and work ethic mixed with execution that allows them to sustain for years into the future. So what is it that I'm talking about here today? Well, in the video that I did on Pearl, towards the end of that video, I called out specific content creators that I thought would be great people for viewers to be able to find and to look at because I thought they were great compliments to the space. One of those content creators, I now have to rescind my recommendation because of what I just recently watched. So let's get into it. Just call him Officer Curry Go. I am so weak right now. That's exactly what we're gonna call him, Officer Curry Go. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I'm not gonna argue with you. You don't let shit go. Ain't you the one that got dragged down 85? I'm not gonna argue with you that don't let shit go. You crazy as fuck. I'm not gonna argue with you. You've already shown you can't let 
to go. You was holding on to that person's car, getting drugged down 85 South. I don't trust no one like that. Pay attention. You don't let go of shit. I damn sure ain't finna sit there and go back and forth with you. I'll be exhausted. Let me see if I can show y'all when he got dragged down the hallway. So this is the part, right? Fair use. Um, This is the part where... Um, where I have to say, this is, um, for those who have not seen this, um, let me give you a disclaimer. It is a video she's about to play of me being assaulted. She's going to play the video on her stream. And this particular video is ultimately why I had to retire out of policing, right? Been policing for 13 years. And unfortunately, three years ago, I was trying to make an arrest and someone, the suspect I was dealing with wasn't cooperating. Reached in to grab him. I got lodged into the car and I couldn't free myself. The suspect drove down the interstate and at a high rate of speed. And he started ramming me against other vehicles as he was driving by them. Ultimately, I ended up striking a van and was ejected from the car. I was unable to free myself. And because of that, I had to jump onto the car and hold on. And so this is what she's talking about. So for a lot of people who are new to my channel may not have um, heard me discuss it. Those who are who have been on my channel have heard me talk about it before. And it is a sensitive subject because I almost died. I thought I did die, actually. You know, I woke up, um, was almost ran over by vehicles on the interstate. By the grace of God, I'm still alive. So she pulls the video up and she plays it. So I want to make sure I give a disclaimer to those who have not seen it. It's, um, it's, it's a, it's a tragic and it's a difficult thing to watch at least for me it is and i think even for people who have some sense of humanity you know i think that it'd be difficult for them to watch and so i wanted to pause there before i played it to give you a disclaimer that you're going to see something that is someone She's going to play the clip of someone attempting to kill me. Essentially is what she's about to play. She's about to play that video um, to her audience. And so the jokes that she was just making a few seconds ago was, hey, this, this is someone who doesn't let go of anything, right? This is someone, why would I argue with someone who doesn't let anything go? That that joke was was in reference to me holding on for my dear life, um, the fear of being ran over. So that's the context of what you're about to see. So I just wanted to pause that, give give some perspective before um, before diving into it. So remember before when I said that the entire space was like a powder keg waiting to explode? It's sort of like throwing a Roman candle into a fireworks factory. The Roman candle already exploded, but the aftershock and the afterwave is still playing out. And this is a component of that aftershock and that afterwave. Now, these two content creators have been going back and forth because what I talked about earlier one agrees with just pearly things, one doesn't. But it has resulted into this degree and level of filth. 
I'm not sure how much I can play of the particular video due to YouTube content, TOS, and guidelines. But let's just keep going. Not gonna argue with this. I got things to do. Okay. Let me see if I can find the video. I really want to show y'all the video. Would y'all argue with a nigga like this who clearly don't let shit go? During the course of their investigation, Mr. Simpson went to put the vehicle into gear, at which time then Woody police officer, Officer Nathan Daly, reached into the car in an attempt to stop Mr. Simpson from fleeing. Mr. Sister Simpson hit the gas pedal and officer. <laughs> Holding on is Mr. Simpson. <laughs> on the entrance of Mr. Daly's body struck another vehicle as Mr. Simpson passed vehicles that were stopped. Uh, he's still holding on. Once on Interstate 285, Mr. Simpson swerved to the left. Oh! Oh, hell no! I am not going to argue with you like that, baby. Mr. Daly was transported. You don't let shit go. I wish I would. Hell no, baby. You got it. Because I don't got the energy. Anyone that hold on like that, I'll be damned if I sit there and go back and forth with you. We'll be here all day. Hell no, nah, you got it. I couldn't believe it. How much do you get paid? Don't police get paid like 50000 I'm not going to get drugged down eighty five for fifty grand. Are you crazy, man? I would have been like, who? You see the other officer? The other officer backed up. He was like, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding on. Hey, y'all think I could argue with you? Hell no. You don't let go of nothing. Hell no, baby. You win. You got it. Whatever it is, whatever niggas say it is, it is. That nigga sat there and held on. The white officer was like, Shit. well, he got his ass in that car. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and drive. This nigga holding on. His feet, his feet was out the window like this. Because he was over there. The feet was up there like, Ooh. sir, no. Nah, baby. So that's the guy that wanted some smoke with me and was crazy as hell if he thought that I was going to give in to that. I ain't got time for that. You don't let go of nothing. Okay? So I had to go on about my business. But the point is... I can't think of many other words to describe that besides evil. Videos like this demonstrate exactly why your boy needs to take a lot more vacation. I mean, shit, the last time I was actually out on a vacation, your boy was out in London town absolutely winning. All right, I was up on the two, approached this 10, and absolutely secured the bag, all right? Now, one of the major keys to cold approaching women is your confidence. And the first thing that women see when you approach is your face. They're gonna instantly know if you're taking care of yourself. And that's why I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. Guys, listen to me. I've been working with Tiege Hanley now for damn near two years, and it's because I truly believe in their products and the positive impact that they will have on your life. Teach Hanley helps men start and maintain a skincare routine that is simple, affordable, and effective. With their level one system, you'll have everything you need to start looking and feeling absolutely amazing, including a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer as well. Their products are designed specifically for men and they even give you this instruction card that will tell you everything that you need to know. Plus, members of Tiege Hanley receive amazing benefits, including at least 20% off a retail price, access to monthly deals, and free U.S. shipping. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description down below and you'll get 30% off of your first box plus a free gift. Guys, listen, don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. To laugh and joke about a man's near-death experience because you have a disagreement with him is exactly the type of evilness and malcontempt that I talk about on this channel on a daily basis. This level of hate for men across our society and pure disconnectedness to what it is that men are doing for our society represents the exact type of women that I talk about on this channel. Where is your empathy? Where is your decency? Where is your decorum? Where is your code? How on God's green earth can you talk about being an advocate for men, which I thought that she was, and within that same breath, in that same body, go to the depths of hell to disrespect this man 
to this degree. Now, I don't know this man personally, but let's just say that this man has a family. Let's say he has a wife. Let's just say he has children. Let's just say he has people to take care of. He came from somebody. But even outside of that, let's say he has a son or a daughter to take care of. And this is his way of providing for his child or his children. And each and every morning before he goes into work, he kisses him on the forehead and tell him, daddy's going to be home later tonight. I'll see you then. And then on his shift, this shit happens to him. And he almost dies protecting his community that he's paid for to do. Three years later, because you disagree with him, you bring it on a platform and laugh with you and your insane audience as if this is a normal thing to do. This is pure madness. This is pure evil at its core. This is the same type of low barometer, abyss level thinking that laughed at Kevin Samuel when he died. It comes from the same archetype. Don't get it twisted. Generally, when women come on my channel, they're so taken aback at all the content because they say, how could a content creator like MTR each and every day come up and show us the most deplorable shit that women do? How can a woman on day one say that she loves you and then on year 10 robs you of everything that you have ever worked for within your life? And the answer is, is that a component of these women, if you slight them or disagree with them, in any way, they will stop at nothing to destroy you. They have no standards. They have no boundaries. They have no code. They have no honor. They will do everything. And it's supported and supplanted by the simps that will laugh along with them in the proverbial chat rooms to continue the madness. Even just looking at the pain and the hurt across his face, because now he has to speak about something in this fashion, after being laughed about something that was so integral in shaping his particular life, it's just ridiculous to me. How do you command a following to grab your pitchforks for just pearly things and out the same bated breath do this to your own men within your own community? For the life of me, it makes no goddamn sense. A couple of days ago, I just watched a three and a half hour live stream on King Von being a serial killer that I had no idea about. When he died, I'm thinking to myself, God damn it, another rapper slain. Now you come to find out that he had a whole rap sheet of killing people that looked just like him. But when he died, it was RIP when he's a serial killer. It pains me to see not holding people to the same degree of accountability and standards for being trash people or having shitty behavior. How does this behavior add to your mission? How does it add to your talking points? How does this add value? It really makes me ask, what is your motive? What is your direction? Do you have no shame? How can you hit this degree of a diabolical low and just continue on in life and act like nothing else is wrong? This to me is evil incarnate. To hear her evil laugh as this guy is risking his life to protect the community that he serves in. I believe that said Dunwoody, which is in Atlanta. So a predominantly black community trying to protect that community. And this happens to him. And that's how you stay on code. It seems like staying on code only matters for people that agree with your statements. Man, listen to me. You cannot defend shit like this. Once a chameleon tells you who they are, then you should believe them. The evilness through the hypocrisy is just so crazy to me. How many men throughout history have lost their jobs or their livelihood talking to women like this, interacting with women like this? How many men are incarcerated right now defending the honor of a woman like this? How many men are six feet deep because they tried to defend the honor of a woman like this? You're a fool if you turn a cheek 
and you think that it won't happen to you. It's never dope to do videos like this, but calling out the blatant hypocrisy, the dirty tactics, and the BS in the space as it refers to men, respect for men, and for men's honor is absolutely necessary because I will not stand for it. Not on my watch. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me over tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Just came back from vacation not too long ago, and I'm already thinking I need another one. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. You don't wanna see me get vaxxed Bars on your phone, tell the man you can't jack The big girl, the ones who can't stretch Breaking the neck when we in the car next You don't wanna see me get vaxxed Bars on your phone, tell the man you can't jack The big girl, the ones who can't stretch Breaking the neck when we in the car next Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP Get boxed with a straight gap I'm reminded of my state daylight Every time that they incline, we go way back All they wanna be is just ruthless Never see me